Hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here today at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our, my, our favorite indoor facility. And today we're gonna talk about the Echelon from Springfield Armory. The Echelon, in my humble opinion, is basically the best pistol of 2023, hands down. All the versatility, the expandability, there's so many things you could do to it. And today I'm gonna show you something special about it. This is my Echelon. This is the one that I got when it first came out and it's ready to go, it's basically stock, I only change the guide rod, but you know what? There are companies out there like Springer Precision that are taking the Echelon to a higher level. And what am I talking about? I'm using this for training for self-defense, and you all know Freddie from our channel. He does a monthly uh, training session, we all get together. I shot close to 6,000 rounds with this pistol already, have yet to clean it, one of these days, I'm gonna clean it. But what I'm gonna to do today is talk about competition. And there are several different action pistol competition uh, varieties out there. There's IDPA, there's USPSA, but Steel Challenge is one of the funnest types of competition. There's only shooting steel. You shoot five rounds per round, per you know course of fire. You shoot some course of fire three, some four times. And in these kinds of competition, there's different divisions limited, open, production, you name it, but open division, that is something that is really cool. But back in the days when I started uh, shooting Steel Challenge and USPSA, in order to shoot open division, you had to spend thousands of dollars, okay? I'm showing a picture of Rob Latham's uh, Springfield Custom Shop um, 9x25 pistol that I photographed back in the 90s. This pistol, was four or $5,000 back then. So what do you do? You have an echelon, uh, especially not this one, but the one with the threaded barrel. What can you do with it? Well, this is the answer from Springer Precision. What do we have here? We have a compensator with one port on top and two on the sides. Uh, we have the Springer Precision guide rod that we have shown here before. We have the magwell that basically goes in the medium gri grip with all three back straps. At this time, it will not work with a large or the small grip, but coming soon. And of course, you have the base pads, okay? We have shown how to install these. We've featured these here before. This is the 140 millimeter base pad that holds, I think, 23 or 24 rounds. And this one here just basically holds a 17. It doesn't add. Uh, capacity, but adds uh, a little length on the bottom. They also make this one on uh, brass, which adds the extra weight. So what are we going to talk about here? What does a compensator do? Basically, the compensator redirects the gases from the explosion, from the detonation. When the bullet comes out, there's gases going up, pushing your pistol down slightly, and these on the side help with the sight motion. Um, Scott Springer told me that he experimented quite a bit with this compensator. And yes, this design works perfectly well. And if you notice, it fits really nice on the lines of the pistol. The guy rod from Springer adds not only weight, but gives you the opportunity of tuning your pistol to different uh, spring weights. So. For this one, I'm using the 14 pound spring. And of course the magwell facilitates the mag changes. So it makes the opening a whole lot larger for you to make your mag changes a whole lot faster. You don't need that much for steel challenge because you don't need to shoot that much. But for other shooting sports like USPSA, there's a couple of divisions. Don't ask me what the divisions are. They have grown way too much and I don't remember. But these uh, are, this pistol is a perfect fit for Steel Challenge and USPSA with a compensator. So what, what are we doing today? I'm just gonna shoot this pistol for the first time with all these accessories using the Federal 115 grain um, Syntec ammo that it says here is going around 1150 feet per second. This is a great combination for this pistol for many reasons, because this ammo will keep your, 
the coating on the outside, the powder coating on the outside will keep your um, compensator clean and at the same time keeps your muscle from getting foul and keeps it cooler temperatures. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this. Got 10 rounds loaded in here. We're gonna reload and do another 10 rounds at the gun sight target back there. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's get ready. Got my eyes, I got my ears. Normally I use my shooting glasses, but because I'm using a, a dot, I am not um, utilizing my shooting glasses with a monovision. This doesn't allow me to use a dot. Oh, before I forget, the dot I'm using is the Lupo Delta Point Pro. This uh, red dot has been with me for about four or five years already. Decided to put it on this pistol. And I tell you what, sighted it in um, on my other rifle. I'm gonna put it in here and see how it goes in without sighting it in. What do you guys think? Am I gonna be close to being on target or am I gonna be really far away? So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, first thing we do is ears. And let's go ahead and do it. So, taking bets, do you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sighted in? No. Okay, other than just a couple of shots that went a little bit around and it was me, at 10 yards, this thing is working flawlessly. So I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna load up another 10 rounds. And I tell you what, guys, I'm really excited with all these competition accessories with Springer. Um, of course, you, you will need to tune your, uh, your pistol with the springs. Um, I'm using in this pistol ISMI springs. I've been using ISMI springs now for a good almost 25 years. Uh, the guys at ISMI make really high quality springs both recoil and magazine springs, so give them a try. Uh, they're available online from shops like Brownells and Midway and from different gun stores. Actually, I buy them from Dillon too. So check them out. They are a really good manufacturer of firearm springs. Let's do it again. So yes, uh, the compensator works great with this ammo and vice versa. The whole package can be yours for a fraction of what an old comp uh, gun used to cost you. And of course, it's easy to clean. Um, actually, Springer told me that the process is a little different because you cannot take the barrel off the pistol when you have a compensator on but the process is not that difficult. I have done it before. It's not hard to do. So what do you guys think about this package? Do you like it? I like it. So check it out, the Springfield Armory Echelon, along with uh, Springer Precision Parts. Again, compensator, guide rod, magwell, and base pads. So great combo all along. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.